Are you ready to see more daylight during the evening hours? I know I am. The time change coming this weekend. That's right. Daylight saving time begins early Sunday morning. And of course, Leon Bibb is already thinking about it. I'm already on it, my friends. You know, I figured it was about time to do a story about time. All this raises questions many ask. Do the clocks go forward or go back? Well, I know they go forward. As the old song says it, though, the times, they are a-changing. Time, that elusive dimension which slips through our fingers. Pay too little attention to it, and it can cost you. We cannot hold time itself, not even for a moment. Time is always running away from us. Some of us have to scurry to catch up. If we can, often we can't. Only so much time to get the work done. Time never stands still, so we must govern ourselves inside what time we have. Time is an interesting concept. I think, you know, it, it can move really fast, but it can also move very slowly. Live in the moment. We often hear that, but moments are ever-changing. So we do what we can based on the past, living in our present, hoping for good future. We monitor time with man-made clocks. People who constantly eyeball time's tick-tock, tick-tock movements are clock watchers. At Suburban Clock and Repair in Berea are repairmen salesmen with nothing but time on their hands. You take your time in doing this kind of work. You have to, because it's got to be right. All this brings me to this point. It is time for the time change. We go to daylight saving time Sunday morning at 2 o'clock. Change your clocks and move forward one hour, or you'll be left and then lost. The phone's been ringing all day today with people asking questions about how to reset their, their clocks for the, for the spring, spring ahead. Spring, spring ahead, mm -hmm. spring forward. Always a big job at Suburban Clock and Repair in Berea, changing hundreds of clocks to the hour and minute. But these workers have to put in their hours to earn their pay. Yes, they always know when it is quitting time. But back to that reminder of approaching daylight saving time, beginning Sunday morning. It exists for more daylight. More daylight? Well, in reality, we advance clocks one hour so that evening daylight lasts an hour longer while sacrificing normal sunrise times. So with evening daylight stretched, what will you do with your time in the sun? I didn't know. I didn't realize it's springing forward. Well, in the clock shop here, it's going to be spent winding clocks and setting them forward all, uh, so they're all correct when people come in and hear them go off. Sunday morning at 2 o'clock will be the crossover. Fast forward one hour or be lost in a different time zone. I would say more, but my time is limited for such a time-sensitive story as this. Television station producers want more time left for other stories on the newscast. They're telling me to wind up my story right now. Okay, okay, I get the message. Don't forget to spring forward your clocks Sunday morning. This is Leon Bibb saying, for me, time to go. My, my, how time flies. That prompts my age-old question. How did it get so late so soon? As I said, my time-minded producer in the control room was probably saying, hurry up, Leon, get on with it. Okay, okay. Sunday morning, spring forward one hour. In the U.S., by the way, daylight saving time began in 1918. Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and the U.S. Virgin Islands, and most of Arizona don't follow it, but we do. When the time changes, you may lose an hour of sleep, but do as I do. I'll spring forward out of bed and then fall back into slumber for another hour, playing catch up with the time change.